smash your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in the dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. what is up a team welcome welcome back to my channel oh my word it's been a minute hey? but to be fair exams have been beating a girl's ass and so obviously had to focus on that but i do have one exam left so we are on after that one exam okay period <laughs> So today on the decks, I've got for you guys an exam routine type of video. This is what I do in a day, but more specifically during exam season because I spend most of my days just preparing for exams. And so I thought, let me show you guys what I do in a day. And also I want to show you guys, especially those that are doing law, how I study because I have gotten a few comments asking me how I study. If you do enjoy the video, please do like, comment and subscribe for your girl being back or whatever. And let's get into it so the first thing i do when i wake up is obviously open the windows the curtains get some fresh air make some coffee that is the first thing that i do it's funny because i was so over coffee for like a year and now i'm like back to drinking it like every day i don't know what it is i stopped vaping so maybe i need another um addiction i guess wild but anyways uh today is a really shit day in cape town it's just raining and awful weather so i'm gonna go ahead and have my shower and then pack my bag to go off to a restaurant this morning actually usually i'll have like a sausage roll i know that's bad for breakfast or like egg and cheese but today i'm gonna go to bootlegger in town so yeah let's go when i pack my bag um obviously laptop airpods notes that i'm using my pencil case um i have this bag from cotton on actually it's like 60 rand it's those bags that you can buy if you buy from cotton on i love them so much because it's so spacious so big love it like this bag is the girl it thinks it is honestly can fit everything and anything genuinely i have my essentials in my bag charger hand cream both my charges actually for my laptop and my phone i have my lip gloss wallets everything water and j anything you can imagine child so this is actually my favorite part of each day i'm still in love with my car even though i got it like three or four months ago so my favorite part of the day is actually just playing music in the car and driving to places my least favorite part is pouring petrol because how ghetto child i'm still not used to that actually please watch the ads actually to pay for my petrol because <laughs> down bad <laughs> so i've arrived at bootlegger i am a coffee shop ass bitch i'll tell you guys that for free i love going to coffee shops i love just going out to do my work because i get distracted so easily in the apartment i anything j a fly flying past me will have me distracted so when i'm at a coffee shop i actually find that i focus more because there's nothing else to do and looking at people or getting distracted by people is a bit awkward so i have nothing else to do besides open my laptop and work so the first thing i do is check my emails in fact i do that when i wake up on my phone like no twitter in sight just checking my emails and so i check my emails the most um just because all the important things are there honestly things from my lecturers brand deal related things everything's on my emails so here's my breakfast this is why i love bootleggers the flapjacks have me full for almost the entire day, which we we love that. So yeah, here's my breakfast this morning. After eating breakfast, which was too good, might I add, I drove to campus and honestly, even though it's a bad day weather-wise, the mountain looks absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, the clouds are settling in quite low, which is so pretty always. I actually, if there's anything I love about ECT Law School, it's the scenery. It's really cute and being dragged by school is one thing, but having a nice campus while you're at it, hell, that's another thing. So I'm on campus now. 
it is around about 12 o'clock so i've started the day late in actuality i like starting my day at half past 10 like studying wise but um i will work until about five o'clock so let me do my work It's been a few hours, your girl's hungry, so I've gone home to get some food. I was going to make some food, but then my boyfriend got me food. That's why the Starbucks cup says his name and not mine, because he ordered it for me. I have pizza, I have cookies from Starbucks, and I have a Starbucks, uh, what did I forget what it's called, a caramel frappuccino. That is my favorite drink from Starbucks. If you've watched any of my vlogs, you guys know that I will literally die for this drink. I'll sell my entire family for this drink but yeah this is my lunch a bit unhealthy i know but shout out to my boyfriend for getting me nice food to eat for lunch after a hard day of studying i do go home to eat during the day um when i was on campus or whatever because i literally live a three minute drive away from campus so i can afford to just leave but if i don't feel like leaving i'll just probably buy something on campus or have prepared lunch but i don't normally make lunch because I'm not five, like, uh, <laughs> not five years old, don't need a lunch. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you guys earlier that my scholarship did give me a like exam care package um, they gave me a bunch of nice things inside there's gum there's coffee there's a energy bar there's tissue there's yeah, a bunch of things there's a CT cup there those old ones that you have at your grand's house <laughs> kind of cute if you ask me super cute shout out to my scholarship that actually really means a lot so if I don't go back to campus I'll study at home and trust me when I say that I might go home and spend like half the day on campus, but I go home to study. I spend, I'd say about six hours or seven hours of the day just straight studying. So after getting home, I went back to studying. One eternity later. So after a heavy, heavy day of studying as per usual, my boyfriend and I decided to go to the park by our apartment. Super cute, bad weather, but honestly i like things i just like being outside you know like i love it and it's a dog park um so i just love seeing the cute little doggies with their owners can't wait till we have our dog honestly i have dogs at home which i love very much but obviously i can't bring my dogs from home to cape town so i can't wait till we have like our own dog but anyways i love going to the park love it love it so much after that um, it was time for dinner and we made a chicken pasta with some baby spinach, but I'm not going to show you guys that because it wasn't aesthetic, so... <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that are interested, I'm going to go into now how I study for my law exams or tests. And like I said, take this advice with a grain of salt. I don't get bad marks. In fact, I get good marks, but I don't get excellent marks. So yes, you do it this way what you will but this is what's worked for me for the last like two three years i would say so the first thing i do because law is a very case centric uh degree is that i will per course so i have eight courses this semester for each course i'll write down like a cover page for it so what we've done per week and all the cases that relate to it for instance, in this example, I've used my evidence notes, my law of evidence notes. As you can see, it's written week two, this is this and that, and then in red, it's the cases. And then before I even start studying, I will memorize all the cases that we did per week so that when I start studying, I'm instead just furnishing, you know, what I already have an idea of instead of just doing it week by week. And I don't know what's going on. I don't know which cases. I'd rather know like a good one line, two line of the cases beforehand it just gives me like a gives me another level of confidence and why i do this also is because when i write the exam or the test as soon as they say reading time has begun you know reading time at least at uct 
we're allowed writing just not on the answer paper but we're allowed writing like little notes for the f- first 15 minutes before we actually start the test so what i do in those 15 minutes is literally verbatim regurgitate the pages i showed you guys for each course so i literally memorize every single case per course before i even start studying for it and then that's the biggest thing i can contribute to you guys is that trust me that thing really helps a lot it's very tedious to go through just oh week three this and that these are the cases week four this and that these are the cases but trust me it comes in handy because you have the cases on hand and even if you don't know what the question means you know which week it pertains to and so you already know to apply any of the cases from that week and you will likely get the marks for it and it will likely come to you what the answer is so trust me on that one i don't know if i was clear enough in explaining but i think i was knowing the cases is like having the puzzle pieces before you even know what the puzzle is do you get what i mean so yeah yeah um other than that i just recommend mind maps look how big this page is that i do mind maps on um mind maps cases mind maps is how i learn also i type out all my notes and then i just learn from there so that's what works for me as you can see remember what i told you guys about the cases and all that i haven't written this page out but it's the same cover page concept i told you guys about just now all the cases in this uh clip on green as you can see so i really do be memorizing each week per course and each case per what we did that week and in that way even if i don't know what the hell is going on in that question i will know exactly how to answer it because i have what the case so yeah um other than that everything is normal in terms of how i study i just study like a normal person i study for 50 minutes hour break hour 50 minutes 10 minute break 50 minutes 10 minute break um although if the information is busting i won't actually take breaks at all the rest i can recommend i guess is just go to your uh, q and a's when your lecturers are hosting uh this is a exam scope type of lecture attend all those things um of course have all your exam timetables or whatnot printed out on your wall somewhere where you can see it every day this is my one i had three exams in one week and it was rough let me tell you that for free okay it was really really rough but yeah guys i also like everything binded it's just the perfectionism thing i like everything very neat um my writing and whatnot might not be neat but my, my notes and how i file them is neat always because yeah i just need a sense of direction and that's the biggest thing i can recommend to you guys is to just have that page per course where you can go back to and it's your map for everything i cannot stress that enough okay okay also don't forget to look at past papers uh look at your old scripts see what you did wrong there because if you're getting 70 in your papers then it means there's a 30 percent that is not accounted for we need to figure that out okay yeah so other than that that's what i have to contribute to you guys today i also take brain food this particular brand um i think it's immunity um it's really helped with my memory retention like i can't even lie to you guys my memory was very 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 bad uh before taking these i take one every day it says on the actual packaging that, that you must take two every day but one every day is fine with me so yeah i recommend uh this vitamin brand i guess as well it has really helped it doesn't even have to be this one as long as you're taking vitamins like J, you'll be fine <laughs> you will be fine also this is actually the end of this video but i want to show you guys we'll see your girl's up at almost 3 a.m studying fighting for her life like <laughs> but yeah this is the last year of law school and i want to finish with a bang so every single minute counts and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video okay i hope you guys missed me as much as i missed you i hope you guys are excited for me to be back and mostly please drop me a like i really appreciate it please drop me a comment i miss speaking to you guys okay if you made it to the end of this video i appreciate you so much and i'll check you guys real real soon okay period bye guys